Hello! Welcome back to Making Magic at Home and our icy adventure, Igloo. Our adventurer is still sound asleep inside the igloo while the frosty wind whistles outside. We'd better get warm so we can go and find her before she wakes up. I know a game that will make us nice and warm. Musical statues! To start with, when the music plays, we're going to dance with just our fingers. And when it stops, we're going to keep them nice and still. Are you ready? And now we're going to dance with our whole hands like this. And remember to keep them still when the music stops. And now let's dance with just our shoulders like this. Keep still like you've been frozen in the ice. And let's see if we can dance with our whole arms. And now, so we can get really warm, so we're ready to venture into the ice. Let's put it all together and see if we can dance with our whole body. Great dancing everyone, I think we're ready to join our adventurer. After falling asleep, imagining the twinkling stars in the black sky above the igloo, she dreamed of who might live there and why they might have built the igloo so far away from anything but snow. She dreamed of Bigfoot leaving giant footprints around the igloo and hiding away from people trying to take photographs all the time. I know, shall we be Bigfoot stomping around in the snow? Are you ready? Stomp, 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 stomp. She dreamt of an ice cream inventor who wanted all the snow to themselves so they could experiment with lots of exciting new flavors. They made salt and vinegar flavoured ice cream, avocado flavoured ice cream, boiled egg flavoured ice cream. I know, what flavoured ice cream would you invent? Savoury or sweet? What do you think? Shout out your new flavour after three. One, two, three. I'm sure all of your flavours will be very tasty. Our adventurer also dreamt about a desert lizard who got sick of being too hot and loved to lay on the cold ground. As the sun rose and light began to creep under the igloo door, she woke up with a yawn and a stretch. Oh, what a lovely night's sleep, she thought as her dreams began to come back to her. I wonder who does live here. They never did come back. But Bigfoot is far too big to fit under that door. And an ice cream inventor would need more than just ice to make his new flavours. And a lizard? They'd be far too cold. What was I thinking in my dreams? No closer to an answer, she began to wonder again. Perhaps whoever lives here is on holiday or an adventure of their own. Or maybe they have a pet who needs really long walks, like a polar bear. Our adventurer always wanted a pet. She thought about this as she crawled back through the tiny igloo door and looked around for clues about who might live there. With no one around, she spoke her thoughts out loud. Grandpa, says that animals make better friends than people. For some reason, Grandpa's very grumpy about other people, but Mummy sometimes says that too, which is annoying because when I ask Mummy for a dog, she always says no. Maybe she just likes copying Grandpa. 
There's not an animal to be seen, nor a single footprint. Our adventurer appears to be all alone. Everything is still and quiet above the surface. She had walked some way from the cosy igloo. It was now just a dot in the distance behind her. Ahead, she could see another dot. As she walked closer, she could see that the dot was a hole. Or it used to be before the icy waters froze it over to make a window into the ocean. She stared at the waters and the motion soothed her, the colours deep and calm. Then, like a flash, something bolts across. A fish? Perhaps this is a fishing hole. Oh, I'm getting hungry, she thinks. Then something starts to move slowly. Not a dolphin, no, something else. Just then, the icy window is broken by a tusk, long and sharp. The icy shards begin to bounce and splash on the water. The creature greets her with a smile and tosses her a fish. Do you know what the creature was? A narwhal, a unicorn of the sea. That day, the narwhal takes our adventurer on a magical journey under the sea. What do you think happened in the water? What do you think she saw? Maybe you could make up your own story about their day together. You could draw it, write it down or record it. Pause the video here and tell us your narwhal story. Welcome back. I hope you had fun making a story on your own. Do you think you could share it with me? You could send it like this. Or like this. Or like this. I can't wait to see what you came up with. I bet it's very exciting. I wonder if our adventurer will ever find out who the igloo belongs to. We'll have to wait till next time to find out. See you next week.